Hey, how's it going out there, folks? Good morning. Good Monday morning. Made it to the uh, start of the work week here. Hope everyone had a uh, decent weekend out there. Still quite windy here in Northern California. It is uh, 8.08 a.m. California time, January 27th, 2025 is the date. Uh, latest activity here on the Earthquake 3D Globe shows uh, some movement. We're on the, the Earthquake 3D Globe here. It's going to show, uh, let's see what we got. A lot of activity still ramping up here around the globe. It looks like some movement down South America, but uh, got an interesting earthquake up here across the eastern coast. A uh, 3.8 originally coming in as a 4.1 earthquake near the York Harbor, Maine area. This earthquake was felt uh, pretty broadly uh, across the region. Let's go ahead and check this out, see what we have from the USGS with this earthquake. Uh, as we know, uh, things have been somewhat active out here across this area of the country. Um, seems to be getting a little bit more active here in the last couple of years. Uh, this earthquake, 3.8, felt all over the place from Maine uh, down to New York City area, it looks like. With the majority of the shaking being, uh, looks like some light shaking being reported from that earthquake. Eight miles deep there, just offshore of the uh, main coast, it looks like. Pretty close to the New Hampshire area as well. Um, so what's going on out there? Let's go ahead and check out historical data. Um, if I remember right, uh, there has been some earthquake activity out there. Oh, in, uh, you know, history. Can't say recent times. New Jersey uh, having a lot of activity last year, but uh, this is a little bit further up north. So let's go ahead and check out the historical model out here. And... Um, see what we have here i just want to look at 3.0 and above and wow this is kind of there we go little cool feature that the usgs uh, has on their website we can go back in time and look at documented historical quakes of course you know not every single earthquake that's happened throughout history is going to be documented uh, but the ones that are or listed up here on the map. So I just want to see what we have up here across this area of Augusta. We're outside of Augusta, down here along the coast in this specific area. And uh, we'll take a look here. Hope everyone's enjoying their, enjoying their day. Pretty early still out here, but I figured I'd jump on and get an update in. I'm starting the... Uh, Spring semester starts today here at the college, so going to be quite busy again. There's that 3.8 that struck uh, just within the last hour. Now, it looks like the last earthquake here of anything above 3.0 uh, 3 and above was a 4.7 earthquake. So that's a little bit larger than the earthquake that we've seen today. That was back in 2012. Um, so see what we got for largest activity in the region yeah 6.5 over here across the uh, New Hampshire area north of Concord that was uh, back in 1638 goodness that's been hundreds of years ago how they documented these earthquakes are it's a very interesting process there in uh, when you're looking at the rocks and when you study geology you can see fractures out there in the ground. You might have to do a little bit of digging around, but uh, they've they've obviously a 6.5 is going to be well documented uh, from the folks that may have been out here and anything uh, as far as surface ruptures or um, along that line of things uh, at you know within the region. So it looks like uh, you know earthquake activity is common out here, uh, and sometimes it can get big. But, uh, yeah, hundreds of years, 1638, goodness. Uh, 5.9, a little bit further closer to the uh, earthquake today, back in 1755. That's still a lot of time that has passed there. A lot of time. Um, let's see what we got for the closest one. 4.0, 1810. 3.5, So as rare, you know, it, I definitely call it a rare quake out here, but historic history tells us that uh, it can get some large earthquake activity and probably 
will happen again. You know, an earthquake of that magnitude in today's society out here where everything's built up and our infrastructure and whatnot's, you know, maximized. Uh, 6.5 out here. Yeah, that would uh, do quite a bit of damage. But these little quakes, you know, such as the New Madrid Seismic Zone and uh, periodic earthquakes out here. Let's, let's take a look at the last 30 days, see what we've had. Uh, you know, just a handful of earthquakes. Here's the New Madrid Seismic Zone, um, which has been quite active here in the last few months as well. Nothing big, but it, you know, 1811, 1812 was the last series of big earthquakes out there as well, upper sevens. And something like that today would be, uh, yeah, traumatic. Um, but things are increasing out here, it seems like, and that could be pointing maybe to some bigger earthquake activity out here uh, since so much time has passed. Uh, so that's something to keep in mind. One good thing to look at here is the U.S. hazard map. The area of concern where that 6.5 struck is right there in the yellow. Today's earthquake striking just within that zone. It looks like there was a little earthquake there. 1.6 uh, a few days ago, about a week or, week or so ago. Uh, so, yeah, you know, just, you know, you never know when a big one's going to hit. History, you know, in, in terms of plate tectonics and earthquakes, tend to repeat themselves. Not on, you know, every specific 300 years or so. It, it, it's got regular intervals. I'm sure that uh, large earthquakes take place on it. But, uh, you know, just be prepared. We're living in some interesting times here, and I've said it. I think we're going to start seeing some uh, more common larger earthquake activity out here. So if you felt this earthquake, let me know uh, what it felt like. Originally, again, this came in as a 4.1. Let's check out the uh, the magnitudes here. They went with a uh, pretty low error reporting a magnitude level there at a 0 0.04, but no stations contributed. See, a lot of these magnitudes, they're up in the mid-4 range. 0 0.9, 0 0.5. Let's check this one out with a 4.3. That's the average that uh, all these seismograph stations put together in their computer base and spit out a you know an average between all the stations. But some of these magnitudes, look at that, up around the 4.7 range. A lot of fours, you know. I, I, they went with like the lowest reporting station as a 3.8. So that's why it's good to look at the uh, did you fill it reports and uh, talk to people that were actually out there. Now 3.8. Of this, you know, east of the Rockies is going to feel stronger or on a more broader area due to the brittleness out here of the rock. Out here in California, 3.8 is going to be limited to a small area. But, uh, yeah, this was felt uh, pretty broadly over across the region. So uh, we'll continue to watch that and, uh, of course, report back on anything that changes out there. I'm going to do a full update here on uh, the worldwide earthquake activity in just a little bit, but I wanted to step in real quick and uh, chat a little bit about that earthquake this morning, 3.8, York Harbor, Maine area. Let me know if you felt it, folks, uh, where you're at, what it felt like, and uh, we'll catch you guys back out here in a couple hours for the uh, the full update out here. Have a good one.